Some financial tips when a baby comes along into your life. The first thing I'd always recommend any couple do when a little one enters their life is to start coordinating your finances. A lot of couples, partners might ha live very independent financial lives, you know, not really talk about money or share information about their money, know what they earn or spend. So sitting down together and doing a family or a household budgeting plan is really important. Out of that then, once you know what's coming in, what's going out, who's paying what, start doing some key financial objectives with your money with relation to the, the kid coming along. The first thing is, you're gonna start receiving 140 euros every month. If you don't need that money, if that's money you wanna try and stick away for the baby, you can invest that money, get a level of growth on that money, save it over the 18 years that you're gonna get the money and you're gonna have a really good pot of money for maybe university or gifting to the child at a certain point in the future. Point number two is, Beforehand, when it was just you and your partner, there was probably less of a need to focus on protection planning, but because now, if anything happens, there is a big need to make sure that you're insured properly. Make sure that you have life insurance in place, so if you're not around anymore and there's someone who really depends on your income, you're gonna make sure that there's enough money to look after them for a certain period of time after that. And the last thing is, if you're too ill or injured to go to work, okay, that might not impact you as much if you're on your own or just with one partner, but if there's a little one involved now, you're also gonna to need to make sure that you've got income protection in place. So protection is the next thing that I always recommend people do.